Hello everybody, thank you so much for visiting uh, Riders United the YouTube channel. In today's episode I would like to show you how you can install this uh, kit of the auxiliary lights for the Road King Special. I have to say I'm super excited about this, so if you'd like to do the same thing to your bike, please uh, stick around and I will show you what I got. Here we go. I have to say I'm super excited about this upgrade. I have those uh, lights on my Harley Davidson Slim and I also have them stuck on my Heritage and I have to say this was really a perfect look for my bikes and I'm missing this look on my Road King Special and as you can see in here I have this uh, bracket which is actually the stock bracket that I just uh, powder coated and I also bought some of these lamps in here and those rings they are also original OEM Harley item all the videos that I've seen so far on YouTube always uh, recommend going with the aftermarket products I initially thought about the same thing but I have to say after looking at the prices of those items from Harley I decided to go with the with the OEM products so the bracket, yes, you can buy really cheaply. I bought this bracket on the swap meet for about 30 bucks, 40 bucks, if I remember correctly. I found the powder coder that the powder code is, and then I bought uh, those lights. So those uh, were 30, 30 bucks each. So I think that for the OEM quality, this is outstanding price. You can buy those, uh, those lights on Amazon for maybe half of the price but this is just poor junk and I tried them before and they didn't they didn't really work the proper way they have the different threads and the same thing goes for those rings I mean yes the rings were uh, probably about uh, 60 bucks but everything is uh, OEM parts from Harley Davidson which is a really outstanding finish and uh, this is the reason I decided to go with exactly this kit so when I was uh, buying those lights, I actually found the kit for the Harley Davidson Slim that I used in the past. And as you know, you can actually find the part number for each piece of this kit and order this uh, separately. And this is exactly what I did. So I really like the fact that everything is already pre-wired with those. And like I said, the quality is OEM quality. So I will be putting these uh, pieces together and I will show you how to wire everything on the Harley Davidson Road King and I really think that you will enjoy that. Let me take you to the bike and we'll get the job done. So here you have all the components that will allow you to connect the lamp to the bracket. I powder coated all of those so everything is nice and black. And what you will do, you will put this uh, swivel thing and you will go through the cable So it would be like this. Then there is this washer that also acts as a spring. So you have to make sure that it's bent like this way. So you will go through the cables as well. So this is your setup right now. And then you just show that a little bit closer. You will go through this uh, hole that is farther away from the front. You will have the cables in here and right now you will take this little piece and kind of put it like this and now the washer and now the nut so what is really important about this swivel piece that it will allow you to move this lamp when you have to adjust it. So here you can see this piece from the different angle and I have this uh, cover for the cables so I'm gonna just cover the cables with it just to make sure that everything looks really nice and tight. If you didn't have the chance to subscribe yet uh, please uh, like and subscribe you have the subscription icon on the right corner of your screen I currently have over 175 different uploads on my channel, so I really hope that you will find something interesting for yourself and you will be able to enjoy it. Let's jump back to the video. So here you can see the final product. 
at this at this stage. And yeah, those, uh, those wires came up really nice and clean. What we're gonna do right now, we'll install this auxiliary light. Let's put this thing together. So this is our ring. And yeah, just pay attention to the shape of it because it have to go this specific way and it will click in place. You will see there is specific cutout in here. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna remove this film and I will connect the plug. Just make sure that the black cable goes to the black cable. I think it will be just the safest way to do it. So let me just maybe put it on the side. And this is somehow quite a tight fit. And yeah, this, this cutout actually have to be on the bottom. So it looks like the ring can go like both different ways because the cutout is on the both sides. So make sure that this piece is on the bottom because there is a cutout in here. Put this ring inside of here first and yeah, then install this thing together. Now we'll put our screw on the bottom. So what you will have to do right now, you will have to make sure that those two screws are loose so there is enough space in here and we'll install our bracket with the lights on the side. Gently put this thing on. So let me just make sure that I have this grommets on the inside and the same thing on the bottom. Yeah, that sits properly right now. And yeah, those are our cables. So we'll connect everything inside of the lamp. Now that everything is in place, you can tie this up. Yeah, this is nice and secure right now. So what we'll do right now, we'll unscrew the screw in here, remove this ring, remove the light, and we'll have the access to the accessory plug. And this is where we will connect all the lights together. You can put the rag in here just to make sure you don't scratch anything. And yes, gently unscrew the screw on the bottom. And right now you should be able to remove this ring. Next step is to remove 10 screws in here, holding this whole assembly. And now you will have the access to the light. So you can disconnect everything on the back. Here you go. And this is our plug that we'll connect it to. So I will check this one or this one. One of those two should work. So this is what I ended up with. This is my plug and I will connect it in here. So my yellow cable will be connected to the purple. So I have to flip it, connect it in here. So as you can see, the power from the purple or the blue is coming to the yellow one right now. This is just extension for my accessory plug. Since there were like two yellow cables coming inside of this one, I'm gonna use the shrink wrap and just connect everything to two gray cables which is the power to the lights. I have remaining two black cables and this will be the ground. So here we go. Yeah, the power going into the lights is connected right now. So what I noticed that it was a, a little difficult to find the ground here. So I connected the two black cables that were coming out from the lamps on the side. And I noticed that the second terminal in here, it's actually ground. So I took the plug and I only have like one cable coming out from here, which is consistent with where the ground is. So I will connect it right now. So right now I have this one cable coming out from here and I will connect those two. 
and I will use the shrink wrap again just to connect everything really nicely. I would like to check. As you can see, the lights are coming on. Now that we've verified that everything works, we'll just put all this stuff together. So it will be all the screws in here and we'll put the cover and that will be done. Now that we have this installed, we can just uh, put our ring back on. Make sure your gasket is properly seated all around. And yeah, right now, put the screw in. Looks like everything is nice and tight in here. I still have to adjust those lights. So I'm gonna do it during the riding season. So I will take the bike next to the next to the wall i will measure the distance and i'm gonna align everything properly so i will just have to unscrew the screw and you will be able to like move this lamp the way you want it so yeah i really like that this is uh, on position it's an off and this is accessory so yeah i think this is this is good i would prefer if the lights will be off during the accessory mode but yeah, I don't mind. As long as this is on and everything works properly, I'm actually happy. So yeah, everything works properly. Yeah, great deal. I have to say, I love the upgrade mainly for the look of the bike. I always uh, like this old school look with the three lamps up front, but yeah, also I will have some additional light. So that's actually great. I think that this is an outstanding upgrade for somebody that have Road King Special and yeah, without the lights, I actually dig that look. Highly recommend it. So I really hope that you enjoyed this uh, upgrade. I have to say, I really love the look. I think it really brings this uh, classic look of the bike that I was uh, missing uh, from my Harley Davidson uh, Road King Special. And I really hope that the Harley will put those lights uh, stock from the factory but for whatever reason, they didn't do it. But right now, I have to say, I really, I really achieved a look that I really enjoy. So I really hope that uh, this will be helpful for somebody, especially that I use a little bit different components than uh, many of the other people on the YouTube. And I think that it was uh, definitely well worth it. The price difference was not really that much, but you will enjoy the quality of the OEM. And I really, really like that. So if you would like to connect with me on the social media, I have the group uh, on the Facebook called the Riders United Motorcycle Group. You can also find me on the TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you didn't have the chance to subscribe yet, please uh, like and subscribe. You have the subscription icon on the right corner of your screen. As I mentioned, I have over 175 different videos. So I really hope that you will find something interesting for yourself. I always uh, appreciate your support. And uh, please leave the comment below because I'm always uh, wondering about uh, what you did to your uh, Road King special. Maybe you did uh, the same upgrade or something similar. So please uh, share your comments and your opinion because uh, they are always really valuable for me. And I also would like to learn something from you guys. So this is everything that I have for you today and I will be releasing next video next Friday. So I really hope uh, that you will join me next week. Thank you so much and ride safe. Bye-bye.